Hi everyone, welcome back to another episode of Tastefully Balanced. I'm Miriam and we are at the end of the month, which means this is the last plant-based meal prep video that you will see this month. And the theme for today's meal prep is going to be Tex-Mex. So if you guys love meal prepping, please subscribe and keep watching. Alright, welcome back. So before we get into the recipes, let's go ahead and talk about exactly what we're gonna have for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. So for breakfast, I was going to make a chickpea omelet with some mushroom bell pepper and onions. Very, very easy and really delicious. For lunch, I was going to make a Texas caviar. This is something that I had when I was in San Antonio and it was delicious, so I thought why not go ahead and recreate it with a little spin. And then I paired it with some celery, peanut butter, and grapes. And then for dinner, I thought I would make a tofu taco meat bowl. So what that means is I was going to cook up some taco meat made with tofu and then make a really, really easy Mexican rice with quinoa instead of regular rice with a bunch of veggies like lettuce, onions, tomatoes, carrots, whatever else that you may have in your fridge. So I just wanted to prep all that and make the week very, very easy when it comes to food. All right, let's go ahead and get started with breakfast with the chickpea omelets. The first thing I wanted to do was saute my onion, mushroom, and bell pepper. So I cut everything really, really small so that it would fry up really nicely and added it to a saute pan with avocado oil. I fried that up for a good five to 10 minutes, made sure everything was really nice caramelized and fried. And then I set that aside to make my actual omelet. So for the omelet, I have one cup of chickpea flour or beshun if you guys are familiar with desi cooking. And then for the spices, I had onion powder, garlic powder, black pepper. So really, really simple, easy spices. And then to my chickpea flour, I also added some nutritional yeast, which gives it a nice kind of cheesy flavor. And then some baking soda so that it would fluff up. So that's really it for the actual chickpea omelet and then you just add a cup of water and stir that all up and make sure it's a nice good consistency and honestly i could just have this on its own without the veggies but the veggies definitely give it an extra layer of flavor so then i just took a small pan i sprayed it and then i added in my omelet batter and then honestly right away i would put about a fourth a cup to a half a cup of the mixture that i made so the onion bell pepper mushroom mixture and then I just let it sit there for a little bit until I saw little bubbles forming at the top and then I flipped it. It was really easy to flip, kind of like pancakes to be honest. So really easy, really fast to make. And I made five for five days. So this was perfect. It was the perfect amount of veggies and perfect amount of batter. And this is definitely something that I want to make again because it was delicious. All right, now for lunch, I wanted to share with you a recipe that we absolutely love. It, we tried it for the first time in San Antonio on our first day of being plant-based actually and fell in love. So I knew I wanted to recreate it and put a little spin on it. So it's a little bit different than the one I'm gonna post in the description box, but I'll walk you through exactly how I made my version. It's a very easy recipe. You dump all the ingredients into a bowl with a dressing and that's really it. So the first thing I'm doing is making the dressing, which is just olive oil, some lemon juice, I had some ancho chili peppers, which were in a can, so I put about one of those little peppers. It's not too spicy, so it's fine. And then I put a teaspoon of garlic, cumin, and salt, and a little bit of black pepper, but that's it for the spices. I just mix that all up, and that is going to be your delicious dressing for this salad. So now for the actual ingredients that go into this, I am putting a can of black beans, a can of navy beans. Traditionally, you would put black-eyed peas, but the store that I went to didn't have it, and then a can of corn, a bell pepper cut up, and then I like to add in a whole box of jicama sticks that I get from Trader Joe's. I think jicama gives it a really nice crunch. It doesn't have a ton of flavor to it, so it soaks up the dressing really, really nicely. And then you can add avocados, but I don't like to add it unless I'm gonna add it the day of, so I kept it out, and then some cilantro. That's really it. Then you just pour the dressing over it, give it a good mix, and that is your delicious, delicious Texas caviar. I am hooked, and I cannot wait to make this again. <laughs> 
All right, now for dinner, I wanted to make some taco bowls. And I could honestly have just used the soy chorizo, which I've done in the past, as my meat. But I wanted to try making some tofu scramble that resembled kind of the taste and texture of meat instead for this recipe. So that's what I did. I took two big containers of tofu and I drained them out and kind of crumbled them up into a pan. And then it was ready to pour the seasoning. And then for the seasoning, since I'm doubling up on this recipe, I doubled up on the seasoning ingredients. So I added two tablespoons of oil, two tablespoons of soy sauce, a little bit of chili powders. I didn't have smoked paprika, so I also added some cayenne, a little bit extra cayenne pepper, cumin, onion, garlic, and then really that's it. Those are all your seasonings. You pour it right over the tofu and then you bake it at 350 for about 30, 35 minutes. Halfway through, I did go ahead and just kind of mix everything up and made sure everything was getting cooked really well. I also at the end broiled it for at least another eight minutes so that it got really nice and crispy. And then all the liquid was actually gone by the end. And this turned out so great. Really, really recommend that you give this a try because the flavor was really good. Even if you don't like tofu that much, I felt like this didn't really have your usual tofu texture and taste. So I really enjoyed it and my husband really liked it as well. And then after everything is baked and crispy, I threw it into a pan with a little bit of salsa. I added about a cup and a half of salsa, my favorite salsa from Costco right now. It's the one that doesn't have any funky ingredients in it, so I'm really enjoying that. And that was it. Once all the liquid kind of absorbs from the pan, you are ready to put this in anything. I was planning on making taco bowls, so I wanted to make a kind of rice dish. All I did was take some quinoa and a can of diced tomatoes. So I put about half a cup of quinoa to one can of diced tomatoes, boil that up, had it sitting on low for about 15 minutes and that's it. Flipped it up with a fork and it was done. And that's it. I paired it with a bunch of veggies. I just cut up some lettuce, some onions, carrots, and tomatoes so that when we're ready for dinner, all we do is just warm up the rice and the taco meat and the veggies are ready to go. Cut up and you just have to throw everything onto a bowl. So could not be easier. All right, there you guys go. That is my Tex-Mex meal prep for the week. That wraps up my plant-based meal prep for the month of January. I'm really excited to start on my new series, which I hope you enjoy, and I hope you stick around next week for that. So if you guys love meal prepping, please comment, like, share, and subscribe. And as always, live life tastefully balanced.